Hello email marketers, this is Fred the Submarine Guy coming back to you. Uh, this is a bonus video I'm putting together for the email marketers uh, profit course. Uh, so it's really kind of lesson five. I know I only promised you four, but um, exploiting your email I think is, is a really important topic uh, that you can take advantage of almost immediately to uh, increase your sales and increase your profits. There's three things I'm going to talk about. Uh, first of all, your welcome email. Second, your thank you page. And three, uh, email challenges, workshops, and boot camps. So number one, your, your welcome email. Uh, the welcome email is the first communication uh, outside of your lead capture page that your prospect is going to get from you. And one of the things you can do in there uh, well, there's a couple of things you need to do, obviously, is one, to thank them for, for getting your lead magnet. Uh, two, uh, give them a link to your lead magnet, whether it's a set of videos or, or PDFs or they download or just a blog post or whatever. Give them a link so in case they miss it on the email redirect uh, after they opted in, you can uh, let them have it there. And then try to show them some understanding of their uh, wants and needs and what I mean by that is uh, just say something direct like I know because you responded to my lead magnet that you're having trouble with email marketing with list building or whatever your your topic is and that way they'll know that you are tuned in to them and they'll have more of a propensity to look at your answers that you're going to provide in your lead magnet and understand that you're an expert at what you're you're doing so show that you understand the the prospects uh, wants and needs and, and problems by stating them in the email is is what I'm telling you to do so that by you parroting what's in the prospects mind they'll know that you know what's going on Okay, so that's the first thing you can do is the welcome email. Uh, also, in the welcome email, um, make sure they know that you're going to be sending them some more emails, some follow-up emails, and what frequency you're going to send those emails. If it's every day, every other day, every five days, whatever, make sure you tell them up front that, hey, I'm going to send you a couple related emails on this to make sure uh, you know you're getting a good advantage of the product. I usually send emails about every three days um, so that you'll be looking for them in your inbox, you know, or something like that, okay? So your welcome email, remember you've got their attention. Uh, I usually get uh, upwards of 50% open rates on my welcome emails. So that's a good good target for you. Uh, I, uh, I've gotten as high as 75 on some of them, but that tells you that they're actually looking at your welcome email. So that's a a good time to know that you've got the prospect's attention. Um, number two is the thank you page. This is probably the most underutilized page in your entire funnel is where you deliver the, the product or the lead magnet that the prospects have signed up for. The reason I say that is because Obviously, you or hopefully it's obvious that you'll have the prospect's attention there, um, looking at the lead magnet, downloading it, watching the videos, whatever your uh, lead magnet consists of. But this is also the place, since you have their undivided attention, that you can give them some bonuses right there up front that they can either download or, or watch or, or take advantage of. Uh, which shows your, your goodwill and the value that you can provide. And you can also direct them back to what's called a, an, uh, a one-time offer in the industry, which is a related product or service that you sell, or maybe it's an affiliate program, that uh, is related to what the lead magnet was, but uh, is maybe uh, more expanded or bigger or covers a wider uh, breadth of the topic or, or whatever. So feel free to put a special offer in there, call it whatever you want, to see if you can get a second sale or a second click-through um, to, uh, to make a little more money off of your thank you page. And again, bonuses are always good. 
uh, if you can put in a video from yourself uh, as a welcome email and a thank you email, that will help your, your no like and trust factors. I mean, there's all kind of things you can do with your thank you page other than just deliver the product. So I, I encourage you to, to put some thought into thank you pages, uh, take some notes in, in planning them so that you make sure you get everything included. And the more you put in there, the more, more value you give to the customer, the more you're going to get back from your customer in, in sales uh, and profits. Now, the last thing is uh, not necessarily just email related, but you can run these with email as well. And they're, they're what's called challenges, or some people call them workshops, or maybe a boot camp, where you have a series of uh, trainings for your prospects so that they can learn a specific topic or a specific uh, thing that will help them in their marketing or whatever. And usually they run for either three or five or seven or even as long as 30 days. And um, there's a very high engagement rate because they're, they're short term, they're high powered, they're, uh, they're a, they're, it's a big promise of uh, learning and, and high value. So you get a lot of interaction. Now, they, they do require some planning. Obviously, you can't do these on the fly. you got to plan what you're going to say, what your topic is going to be in your first email, and your second, and then your third. And then your fourth email, if you're doing, a, a, say, a three- or four-day um, uh, boot camp, will be where you're selling your, your next product, or your OTO, your training, your service, whatever it is. Uh, as a special offer to those that are on your challenge. Again, you can call them a challenge or a workshop or a boot camp. You can run them via email. So you might run a three-day run-up uh, to the promotion and then do a, a three-day uh, learning with your email. And then uh, a sale day, which might go for another two to, to three days by email. Or you can also run these uh, with YouTube videos or with uh, videos on your blog, or you can also run them inside of Facebook groups where you can do Facebook Lives to do the videos. Uh, you get really high engagement rate on those if you can uh, build up your, your readership in the, in the Facebook group. Uh, a lot of the top marketers are using that technique now uh, two or three times a quarter to bring in you know, 30, 50 people into their network marketing companies or 30 or 50 sales of, of their product that they're they're promoting at the time. So uh, and that's with just two or three hundred people in your group, and it's it's not hard to get that many people in your group. So anyway, back to email marketing. You can run these on email. Uh, they're they're pretty easy. They do take some planning, um, but uh, and you can run them as a challenge, a workshop, boot camp, whatever kind of name you want to get people engaged. So there's there's three things that you can do to uh, pull some more money out of your prospects. The welcome email, take advantage of that, provide some extra value, uh, show that you understand the prospect. And then the thank you page, obviously you deliver that, the, the lead magnet, but you also can give them some bonuses there and, and one-time offers that uh, while they're engaged on your thank you page. And then the last one is the email or a challenge or a workshop or boot camp. Uh, which you can run by email or Facebook group or, or blog post or whatever to uh, take advantage of your email uh, that that has uh, people who might want uh, or need your product or service. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed these little expo exploitation tips. Uh, these, there's a lot of things like this that you can do with email. And uh, hopefully you can, once you start building your list, you can take advantage and pull in some more profits from these. Have a great day.